starting from just a small room in the family's garage, with an initial capital of $300,000 for 29 years, Jeff Bezos has turned Amazon into the world's leading multinational technology company. Amazon is so popular these days that if you type in relentless.com, it will go to the Amazon website. Jeff Bezos' startup story has thus become an inspirational story for any unicorn in the global. Pitifully, his space company, Blue Origin, does not appear to be moving at the same pace, and especially is left behind by its arch space rival, Elon Musk's SpaceX. This setback is considered the aftermath of the wrong philosophies that BO's board of directors applied for a long time. However, the most important thing probably comes from the prejudices that the founder of BO has for his rival, Elon Musk, which prevents him from many chances of innovation and development. As the proverb says, time will tell. That's right. After more than 20 years of failure, Jeff Bezos finally realized why Elon Musk's SpaceX is so much better than Blue Origin. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. It is no doubt that Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have a lot in common. They are the richest billionaires in the world and have a strong passion for space travel with many fascinating ideas. In the time between the late 20th century and the early 21st century, their space companies were just startups. Bezos could afford to found Blue Origin in 2000 when he made a lot of money from Amazon. Two years later, SpaceX was born based on the money Elon Musk made when his company was sold to PayPal, which was then bought by eBay. To date, both SpaceX and BO have expanded their scale to approximately 11,000 employees, but along with that growth, multi-billion dollars have passed away. However, in the business and investment area, the result remains the most important. Elon Musk's SpaceX has made its mark in aerospace history with nearly 300 rocket launches, as well as building and launching thousands of satellites. As a result, the valuation of the company now hits $180 billion based on an ongoing secondary share sale. In contrast, Blue Origin has only successfully launched its new Shepard suborbital rocket, while its first orbital rocket, New Glenn, has yet to take shape. On December 17, Blue Origin announced that New Shepard's first mission over a year of holding up would be targeted to lift off on December 18. Yet one day after that, they continued to delay the mission. The reasons for this bitter fact are revealed by BO's founder in a two-hour interview about Amazon, Blue Origin, his business practices, and more with the computer scientist and podcaster Lex Fridman. During the interview, Bezos candidly acknowledged that Blue Origin needs to be much faster, and it's one of the reasons that I left my role as the CEO of Amazon uh, a couple of years ago. I wanted to come in and Blue Origin needs me right now, adding some, you know, energy, some sense of urgency. We need to move much faster. Slowness partly comes from indecision, not daring to take risks and fail. It's safe to say that BO gets obsessed with getting things exactly right, which is reflected clearly through the logo, which is a feather that symbolizes the perfection of flight. Although the BE-4 engine has the same thrust as Starship's Raptor 2, it is still not considered as powerful as the Raptor in general. This is due to the philosophy of living in a safe zone that BO has pursued all the time, meaning never testing the engine in its final frontier to reduce the risk of explosion as much as possible. The information surrounding the development of the new Glenn rocket is rarely shared with the public because BO probably does not want to reveal its weaknesses. However, does this make sense anymore now that the world knows about their slowness? Jeff Bezos and his rocket company have become the focus of public criticism. People call BEO the big joke in the aerospace industry. New Glenn is the toy next to Starship. The slowness and lack of reliability in the BEO rocket development process caused Jeff to continuously lose valuable contracts to Elon. On the other hand, SpaceX is famously not afraid to fail. They also failed multiple times in their attempts to land the Falcon rocket many years ago and the company narrowly went bankrupt in 2021. Starship's Raptor engines have been continuously pushed to the limitation in tests, 
leading to a series of explosions and most seriously, the damage on OLM in April causing the seven-month holding up of Starship. Despite these obstacles, Elon Musk still upholds the spirit of never giving up. Did you think I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. So far, Falcon 9 has broken many records in terms of total payload carried into orbit and number of booster reuses. Starship and its Raptor engine have undergone two orbital test flights and have undergone rapid improvements. SpaceX's reputation and success have also attracted large customers, such as the Pentagon thereby winning lucrative contracts. Bezos also took the high road when talking about Musk. He said decisiveness is worth noting because it is one of the secrets to SpaceX's success. During technical meetings, Musk will make decisions and take responsibility for important issues. Once the ultimate decisions are given, the next up is just action. Honestly, there is no room for hesitation here. Well, I don't really know Elon very well, Bezos said. I know his public persona, but I also know you can't know anyone by their public persona. It's impossible. I mean, you may think you do, but I guarantee you don't. In terms of judging him by the results, he must be a very capable leader. There's no way you could have Tesla and SpaceX without being a capable leader. It's impossible. To be able to share these things, frankly, is not easy. To do that, he had to taste enough bitter fruit. Jeff's high ego caused him and Amazon's board of directors to be entangled in a lawsuit by the company's own shareholders in August this year. The Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund alleged that Amazon acted in bad faith yielding to conflicts of interest, and as a result, overpaid for its launch contracts by hundreds of millions of dollars by refusing to work with SpaceX on Project Cooper. This fact was made painfully obvious back in April 2022, when Amazon signed satellite launch contracts with everyone who is anyone in space, except SpaceX, the world's biggest rocket launch company and also the cheapest to launch with. This is because Jeff Bezos has beef with Elon Musk. Afterward, under pressure, Amazon had to change its decision. Okay, that's enough. It's time for Jeff Bezos to promote slogans. Failure is not an option. During the interview with Lex Friedman for the first time, we see a totally different Jeff Bezos, more lucid and determined. We're gonna become the world's most decisive company across any industry, he said. We're going to get really good at taking appropriate technology risks, making those decisions quickly. You know, being bold on those things. And having the right culture that supports that. You need people to be ambitious, technically ambitious. If there are five ways to do something, we'll study them. But let's go through them very quickly and make a decision. We can always change our mind. Bezos recently fired Bob Smith who had served as Blue Origin CEO for half a decade. Smith's hesitation in making important decisions is the point. Dave Limp, a former Amazon executive, is now taking over Bob's position in the company. Hopefully, this move toward decisiveness could help Blue Origin move faster. I'm very optimistic that the first launch of the new Glenn will be in 2024, he said. Not only will it launch for the first time next year, but BO also aims to build up the capacity to fly two dozen a year. Rate manufacturing is at least as difficult as designing the vehicle in the first place, he added. To keep up with the plan, two dozen upper stages will be built a year, each of which is powered by two BE3U engines because second stage reuse is not in the company's immediate plans. We're going to work on manufacturing that second stage to make it as inexpensive as possible, Bezos said. There are two paths for a second stage, make it reusable or work really hard to make it inexpensive so you can afford to expend it. And that trade is actually not obvious which one is better. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.